Welcome back to our imaging series of videos. On this next subject, we are going to be talking about chip technology and the imaging technology of cartridges. Okay? So what we have here, we have a couple of uh, toner cartridges, the HP 27X. Okay? This will work on the 4000 series printers. Okay? What we have right next to it is the HP 61X. Okay? Very, very similar cartridges. The main difference is this one is made for the newer 4100 series and the fact that it has a chip here. Okay? This is an IR chip, which is a radio type, uh, radio type frequency chip. Okay? And it goes onto the printer here. And there's one right there. There's also the chip there. So it goes right in there. Okay. There, is a, there is a chip reader inside here. Inside here, there is a chip reader that reads the identity of the chip. Okay? The chip does a few different things. First of all, it will let the, the printer know if it is an HP brand or an aftermarket brand. Also, the main, the main importance of the chip is it tracks printer usage or toner usage. So if this, this toner cartridge is rated at 10,000 pages, when you first put it in, it will be at 100%. After you printed maybe 1,000 pages, roughly at 5% page density, it will tell you it has got 90% or 9,000 pages estimated left and at 50% it'll have 5,000 pages left of course and so forth and it'll count backwards. At about 10% it'll let you know that toner is low and then when it's nearly 5-3% pretty much it'll let you know that it's out. Okay. Now in a remanufactured toner cartridge we replace these chips so that it has the functionality of an OEM cartridge. Okay. So when you put the new toner cartridge into the printer it will let it know that there is a new cartridge in there. Okay. That's, there's an LCD display here. It'll let you know that the percentage and, and also in the print test page. Okay. Once in a while, even with the original, the, the chips do have a premature failure. And if there is a problem with the chip, it will say chips error or supplies error. You can usually override that by hitting the green go button. Okay. But uh, in color engines and the new color laser printers, a lot of times it gets locked out if there is a problem with the chip. So chips are easily installed basically just a little sticker on there and they can be pried and removed and then a new one can be stuck right on there so let me show you a different uh, a different uh, chips technologies here here is on a uh, 49a toner cartridge instead of a radio frequency type of chip this is a direct contact you see the little gold plates there so there's when you put it into a printer there's a couple metal sensors that will touch that and that'll let the printer know that the toner cartridge is installed. Again, the chip will have the information as how many pages have been printed, what the life cycle of the printer toner is, and also in certain printers it'll know how long it's been used, the date it was installed, and so forth. So this is a 49A cartridge. The older older cartridge of this, older generation is the 15, A15X cartridge, and this one does not yet have a chip. So basically in these in these type of cartridges it basically as soon as he starts fading and you see white stripes throughout the page you'll know it's fairly low so we have here one final 10a cartridge which has a uh, chip also there so this shows a little differences of the chip technologies here and also a wide variety of hp printers that do use the chips